Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. This is your Hall of Famer Ambassador Director Marlon Green. Uh, today's lesson is about intellectual and intercultural property and how to protect it. Uh, first of all, I want to address the African Union. Hello, African Union. The ambassador says that you should not conduct business to benefit yourselves before Director Marlon Green gets a chance to lay out the economic policy. Because you all let the Asians take over and you were complaining and I've got us in a position to get us back at the bargaining table. Y'all act very ungrateful. You wouldn't ask, them, ask my questions or answer my questions or, or mention me or that I was instrumental. Uh, you insecure people are going to have us enslaved again. And these TV stations and these radio stations are very racist, ran by the wrong people. And so uh, a lot of these local TV stations that use our Mardi Gras Indians and the Zulu parades and the African American heritage, these white folks that aren't on this is not our friends because they'll use your property and put their kids over you and they don't respect you. The, their kids don't respect you. Their kids don't respect you because their parents don't respect you. These fraternities and sororities are working for the Luciferians and don't know it. They copy everything to try to steal everybody's wealth and power. Well, power is not in money. Power is in the spirit. And if they knew this shit, they wouldn't be going behind other people trying to steal their shit and everything that... Americans are garbage. Don't believe anything that they say. These bitches are joined the fraternity before they join the church. A lot of them are conflicted. They in a Ferrari, a, a fraternity or a sorority and go to church. These fraternities and sororities are Greek cultures. You're not going to be able to come to Africa with that. And also, if y'all don't have no sense, y'all not going to notice that them white kids are very sassy. And putting these white folks with these sassy kids in front of your husbands and over your sons, it's stupid. And American women are lazy. They'll sacrifice their sons. They'll sacrifice their daughters so that they can live a better life. They're not in the sacrifice enough in themselves. Most of them are junkies. Half of them can't read. They can't write. They don't communicate. You know what they do when you give them credit or give them confidence? They go fuck somebody else. They'll talk about how much somebody is always abusing them, but they don't never recognize the abuse that they do in other people. And also, they want you to stay stupid. They want you to stay quiet. Our women have no idea what intellectual and intercultural property is. Intellectual property is what you yourself come up with. You design, you make, you keep your personal property. Uh, intellectual property comes in a raw form or it comes in a, fin a finished product. It can be land, it can be a car, it can be a monument. Uh, intercultural property is almost the same. It's a cultural aspect that you all live with. And like the Mardi Gras Indians, that's that's intercultural property. This doesn't really belong uh, to no one person. Because you can't exclude one person out of their own culture. And let me tell you something. Y'all bitches start blaming the people that's really responsible. Because giving me the cold shoulder, giving me the silent treatment, and y'all the bitches that's holding everybody back don't make no sense. And then also, ain't nobody scared of y'all bitches. Y'all mimic everybody, and you don't deserve no respect, okay? And uh, a lot of y'all bitches are degenerates, been in the same job 20 and 30 years. Get the fuck up out of there. Get up out of your comfort zone. Because y'all all on your knees for the wrong person. Y'all sucking they dick. Y'all getting fucked up the ass because you know why? Because y'all whores. Y'all all, all y'all do is amass y'all resources 
Nobody would follow y'all bitches if you were a regular person and y'all very insecure and you live for your money and your money is your God. 